Hi hey everybody, what's up? And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you the custom interiors that I have made for the Lego Harry Potter clock tower set. Now these interiors, some of them are just modified versions of the ones that were already in there and others are completely brand new rooms that I've decided to add it. And the idea is that these are just gonna be more rooms that are going along with the custom rooms that I have in all my other Hogwarts castles, you know. I haven't kept any of the old Hogwarts sets exactly how they were built from the sets. So I've done the same thing here, I've added a custom interior to this set. So without further ado, let's take a look inside. So I'm going to start the tour of my custom interiors of this castle right down here in this front entranceway which is right at the bottom of the clock tower section right here itself. So this is still basically just an empty like corridor in Hogwarts but I've just added more detail to it to kind of give it more life and look less basic. So on the side here there is a counter that has some potions, there's also a drawer on the bottom there. And then if you take a look on both sides of the door, right, I actually used the stickers that had been in Dumbledore's office. And I think they actually look so much better here. It's just detail, it's just more detail in this part. And then over here I have the Goblet of Fire. You can see that Fred Weasley is actually on the ground down there because he tried to put his name into the goblet, but since he was underage, it didn't work and he got a beard. And if you're wondering where George is, well, he's right here too. The same thing happened to him. So you can tell Dumbledore's charms are pretty good there. He's not letting underage wizards enter the tournament on their own. This next room up here that used to be Defense Against the Dark Arts is now Professor Flitwit's classroom. And you can see he is teaching the students Wingardium Leviosa and he's got a spinning stool right here. Now if you take a look, one student has mastered it perfectly. That is Hermione down there. And if you take a good look there, you can see that Hermione's feather is flying up there. You can see that's just suspended from the ceiling right there using some studs. And I think that looks really, really cool. You know, Hermione's up there, she's very happy. Ron on the other side here, however, is struggling very much to get his off the ground. And there's just a lot of really cool details on the benches in there. So if you take a look, you can see Ron has a pamphlet down there, which is basically showing him how to do the charm. That's the printed piece. There's a lantern back there and another lantern. Then Hermione has a couple potions and other small odds and ends in there. But yeah, that's just a really cool thing. I really like this detail of having the feather look like it's flying. I think it turned out looking really, really nice. Then if we move up here, we get into the hospital wing, which I kept somewhat the same actually as the original one. You know, you can see the beds are still in there and they both have the tables in there, but I actually switched out this middle part to try to show more of like, you know, just a table in there where there's flowers in there and just some snacks for the students who are hurt. So you can see Harry is down there on the bed. And this is right supposed to represent in this scene at least right after Sorcerer's Stone when he was been fighting Quirrell. Then you can see Dumbledore is down here talking to him and you know recommending different snacks and stuff for him. And I think this just looks a lot better. There's also a decoration in the back here, which is really cool. And this just is a better use of that middle space, I think, instead of those little, you know, guards that only stopped like half of the bed. And this also does a really good job of covering up the gear that is used for the set, but it still spins perfectly, which is really awesome. And that is the inside of this side of the tower. Looking in at this side of the towers, and this is just the same floor next to the room that had the Goblet of Fire in there. Right here is the Prefect's bathroom, so that is still in there from the original set. But I did add a couple new pieces in there to the bathtub. So if you take a look, there is now a back in the bathtub, which is pretty important to me. I just didn't like how it was open there. So it is all completely covered up now. And you'll see there is also room there on the edge of the tub for the champions to keep the golden eggs. I don't have a golden egg yet, unfortunately, but it is still really cool to have there. Another detail, I don't know how well you can see, is I added in some waves into the water, like just some ripples in there just to give more texture to it, which I think is important. Now this next room up here is one that isn't as common in Hogwarts. I feel like some of you might not even know about it. This is supposed to be classroom number 11. 
And basically the story of this classroom, if you don't know, when Umbridge fired Trelawney from teaching divination, the new divination teacher was Ferenzi, who is the centaur. So they gave him an old classroom, classroom number 11 is what it was called. I think that was the room number of it. And they basically gave it a mossy floor and just gave it a better atmosphere for Ferenzi to teach the class. So you can see here, there is a lot of foliage in here. You know, just a lot of greenery, a lot of plant life in here. See it on the ground, you can see it all around. Even if we go up, there's a lot more growing there. And it's just an interesting room. It's something different. It's something that I don't think Lego's ever going to actually give us. So I wanted to add it for my own, you know, for the purpose of my own Harry Potter display. And the cool thing is that this also does cover up some of the stickers in the back that I wasn't too fond of because we have brick built stuff of them. I also finished building up the wall on the side here, which I think turned out pretty nice. I also did the same thing on this end. I actually made it a thicker wall to have the vines grow up it. And that is really it for my custom interior of this castle. So I'm interested to hear what you guys think of it. Do you guys like it more or less than the original set? I definitely like this more. I think that, you know, these rooms are just have more detail than the original set gave us and just have more, you know, just fun Harry Potter life, Harry Potter references, more things, you know, just similar to how they'd be in Hogwarts. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. For those of you who followed me last year, you know the process with the other sets, with like the Great Hall and the Whomping Willow was first I got the set, then I customized the interior, then it went into the Harry Potter display. So that's the same thing that's gonna be happening here. You're gonna be seeing the Clock Tower set in my Harry Potter display very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. That's gonna be it for this video though. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll talk to you all again in my next video. Yeah.